Everybody, number one rule to word problem success, first step is to do what? Yep, all my lazy people are saying RTQ. I'm new, coach. What does that mean? It means read the question. And because my students here uh, don't want to elaborate on what RTQ means, I appreciate that. <laughs> so that means read the question first. The reason that I have you read the question first is because whenever you're trying to solve any problem, the first step is identifying the problem. If you don't know what the issue is, if you don't know what the resolution needs to get to or what it feels like, then you have no idea where to start. You're kind of just guessing at that point. So if you know what the question is, if you know what the problem wants you to find, then the next step is just looking at the information that's related to that, that's related to what you want to find. Yes or no, does that make sense? Reading the question sentence first. This right here, right there. Reading the question sentence first always gives you the upper hand because the more you know that you need to do, the less anxious you feel about it. So right here, it says, if Sandra and David have this much money and this much money respectively, so meaning each of them have this much money, then how much does Patricia have? So two things, guys, two things. One, did you notice me skip over reading the numbers? Everybody, do I have to read the numbers digit by digit? No, you don't have to read the numbers to know what to do with them. You read around the numbers. It's the context clues that tell you what to do. You don't really need to get hung up on, oh, no, there's a decimal there. I'm scared. No, nah, drop that, man. You don't know if you need to be scared yet. You don't even know if that number matters. So number two, here's the big thing about word problems. You need to know, again, how to spot the question. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Anything after who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, that's really where you wanna focus your attention to. The word if right there, that's basically saying, hey, if conditional information, here's some information, but that's not the question. The question always starts after who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, that's really where you wanna look. So we see here that it says, how much does Patricia have? I got no idea what's going on in the problem, but everybody, is it clear that we want to focus on Patricia and how much money she has? Right on. That's the first thing we want to focus on. It's clear. It says, how much does Patricia have? So if it's all the same to you, I'll go ahead and write Patricia equals blank dollars. Just to keep things simple. You can keep that in your head or you can write it down on paper. As you get better at word problems, keep it in your head. Number two, we're gonna start looking at the information. And if you wanna know the cadence or the sequence I'm going through, here's number one, what do you want? Number two is what do you have? And again, that's the information. Let's write down this information. Together, Sandra, David, and Patricia have a total of this much money. And then it says, Sandra and David have this much and this much. So let me write that down here. The total between them, the total between all three of them is $583.74. And 
And then we see that Sandra, I'll just say Sandy, and David, I'll just say Dave, because I can, we have 221, 28, and then we have 223, 28. Everybody, did I write all the relevant information so far? Okay, cool. Let's see, you know, what is it that we have to do with the information? Can we get to that quickly? Well, it's, again, it's not in the numbers. It's in the context. This is why it's so important to understand key words, right? That's way too important. Look at what we see. Together, all three of them together have this much. We see that Sandy has this much, Dave has this much. Everybody, is it fair to say that if we're trying to find out how much Patricia makes up, we're trying to subtract. We have the total. If we take away Sandy, take away Dave, we find out how much is left, and that should be Patricia, according to the information. Great. Sounds good. Now, there's two ways to handle this, two ways, two common ways. One would be, hey, let's go ahead and add Sandy and David up and then subtract it from that $583. Or you can subtract one at a time. You can subtract Sandy, then you can subtract David. Which way did you go? Did you add and then subtract from the whole thing? Or did you subtract one at a time? Which way did you prefer to do it? So pay attention. Pay attention to the comments here. So we see a ton of people saying, I added, then subtracted. I added, then subtracted. I added, then subtracted. I see a ton of people saying that. And so from that, is it safe to say that you prefer addition over subtraction? Is it fair to say that you prefer addition over subtraction? Yeah, because if you were to subtract twice, again, that's subtraction twice. But if you add them together and then subtract, you're only subtracting once. And so I can see that a lot of people here, a lot of you intuitively prefer to do it the easier way. And I like that because ASVAB isn't about you know, suffering through the hard way, it's finding efficient ways to get things done. Again, I'm going to come back to that. Finding efficient ways to get things done. Let's add these together here. Let's add these up. Paste them right here. And my eyes bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. Now on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Let's zoom in. Everybody help my, my ugly butt out. We have eight plus eight. That's going to be what? Hit me. That'll be 16. We'll carry that one. Two plus two plus one. That'll be five. I'll save you from that. Keep that decimal place in the same place. Then we have one plus three, that's four. Two plus two, that's four. Two plus two, that's four. So that's pretty quick. $444.56. Everyone, are we good so far? All we did was add David and Sandy's money. And now what's the next step again? Remind me, let's see if we understand. Can we talk about what we're supposed to do? What was it that we're supposed to do again? Be specific, subtract what? Subtract my my taxes from my gross income. What are you talking about? Come on. Yeah, from the total. Thank you. Let's be specific there. Let's work on being specific. The more we can talk about it naturally, trust me, the more it's going to make sense, the more connections you're building. So with that, we're going to subtract it from the total. That total that we said we had right over here, that 583.74, we're going to subtract it from there. So allow me to take this. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to duplicate this because you know how efficient I like to be. This is another word for lazy, but there we are. Let's subtract and here we go. Okay. So now that we're here ready to subtract, let me erase this. We have a four minus six and that can cause some issues for some folks who, again, you know, just don't really practice that often, right? So what we need to do here, we need to borrow. I'm going to turn that into a six. That's 14. Help me out, everybody. 14 minus 6, what's that going to be? 
Sounds good. It's going to be 8. Okay. Then we have 6 minus 5. That'll be 1. Decimal place goes in the same spot. Again, line them up. Then we have 3 minus 4. That's not exactly going to work. So let's go ahead and talk to HR. Let's borrow some money here. 13 minus 4. Everybody hit me. Yep, that'll be 9. Then we have 7 minus 4. What's that going to be? Appreciate that. And then 5 minus 4, that'll be 1. Perfect. So we have 139.18. Let's see if that answer is there. Is that there? Yep, it is. It is answer choice D, and we are done. And we are done. Boom. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.